I got a poem that goes, whenever you ride the number 10 bus from point A to point B, you can see the foundation of the buildings drift dramatically uptown. This is called the minority section of the city. In 8th Avenue, it's like an artery that pumps the blood into the borough, but if you thought apples couldn't bleed, you could ask somebody or save time and ask me. And we're going to play tit for tat, and I'm going to ask you to take off your shoes and socks. Let your soul touch the sidewalk, because you must have the strength to relate to this life. But you should already know the official particulars. The quick money, the dirty hands. Crack came into the neighborhood and it sucked the life out of the city. And sometimes it seems like nothing can save us. My grandma keep telling me I should pray, but a prayer is nothing but a nickname for an overrated jump shot. Solar released from the fingertips of a high school kid named Moses. And I don't know if you notice it, but my neighborhood got more churches than schools. In fact, there's a church on all four corners surrounding the housing projects like a fort. And I feel, I feel trapped. And sometimes it feels like nothing can save us. So welcome to life as a bitch. And this is the Urban Chronicles. I'm from where in the summertime we hold picnics on dead blades of grass and broken glass glitter like fragments of stardust under the nightlights. And this is what the tourists come through the hood to see. They couldn't fathom how we exist on the inside of the sun. I'm from where Mecca sits right next door to a methadone clinic. And a malpractice lawsuit let a bum dress nice for once in his life if it is mine having the wrong finger amputated. But the funny shit is, somebody in my neighborhood is going to see this kid with the missing finger and think it's cool. And before you know it, that's going to be a new style. And I can see it now. Some dude going to be like, yo, check it out, son. I just got my finger cut off. This shit look kind of hot, right? And his friend is going to be like, yo, I'm feeling that, son. Watch next week. I'm going to get all my fingers cut off. And you might be saying to yourself, this poetry shit is kind of deep. But that ain't deep. Deep is the way girls only seem to check me out whenever they see me with another girl. So I hang out with lesbians and we pick up chicks together. But then again, that ain't even deep. Deep is the way this dude asked me, what's the quickest way to get from here to Rikers Island? And I told him to take the D train to 34th Street and throw a brick through Macy's window. Now that's deep. Check out my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Don't beat your children or they'll turn out like me. Agitation gets the dirt out and pretty ugly. A Harlem situation. What's up, everybody? Like always, pushing my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Uh, don't beat your children or they'll turn out like me. And agitation gets the dirt out. That's three books of poetry. And my hook book is called Pretty Ugly, A Harlem Situation. Um, you can use cash out to get a copy. Dollar sign, number one. Brad Bathgate. Inbox me if you want to know more about him.